So, with the new series, Local Chronicles, that shows me playing through locals and commentating over the games, you seem to enjoy it and want more, and I'm here to provide. So here's the deal. Every Tuesday on my Twitter, I'm gonna put up a poll with three options for decks that I can play in locals. I'll then build the deck that wins the poll, take it to locals, give you guys a deck profile, which is today. And then later that week, I'm gonna give you a full episode of Local Chronicles showing all the matches with me commentating over them. Sounds good? Awesome. So this week's winner is Togmatica. This was a challenge, nice. but I had to build it in order to win. And we in fact did win 5-0 first place. And here's the deck profile for you right now. And don't forget to turn on the bell for notifications because later this week we have a new episode of Local Chronicles showing off the entire tournament with this Dogmatica deck that ended up taking it all down 5-0 first place. Here's the profile. I'll see you later this week with another video. Yo, how's it going team? We went undefeated again 5-0 first place with 60 card Dogmatica ritual pile with voiceless voice a full engine of dogmatica as i promised on twitter with the poll i did promise uh we're gonna do this every week we're gonna put a poll on twitter you're gonna vote on what i play and then that deck is gonna be on the episode of local chronicles on the channel so it's gonna be really fun so let's get going to the deck list because again 60 card i just can't i can't not play 60 cards right um, three Fenrir, just an extremely good card, and specifically in uh, in Voiceless Voice, it's a level seven, so it works with tributing for rituals. Just a really good card. The approach with this deck was only board breakers, sixty cards, no hand traps, only board breakers. I didn't want my Ash Blossom to get snatched by a Heat or something. So um, Fenrir, just a really good card. Um, really broken card in Dogmatica, the Ken and Gen package. Um, it's uh, these four and Rhoda, which we'll get to. What it does is that, first of all, it enables your board breakers, so it puts talents and thrust live, so you can extend into your other engines. But not only that, it puts a monster in your opponent's board, so when you activate Dogmatica Matrix, you add two cards off of it, and it's like full combo, just for Dogmatica Matrix. So this card has been really good at forcing out Imperms, blocking Imperms, insanely good going first. Um, and then for the Dogmatica engine, three Ecclesia, one Floor, one Maximus, one Albazoa. It was really good today. Um, the effect was like, okay, ripping half of your opponent's extra deck is obviously really good for the grind game. But just the fact that like some decks just can't out this, they don't have any power on in the main deck. So, yeah. Uh, and then white, white Relic, I started this out, didn't summon it, but I didn't want to make sure that... I mean, it goes for game really quickly because you can copy the attack of another monster. It's really good. Uh, one Calamity, one Macabre. I usually sell out the Macabre, but last game for the win, it really helped me under Shifter. So uh, it's a good card. And then three Dogmatica Matrix, which is insane. And three Nadir Servant, which is also insane. This is the Dogmatica stuff. Ken and Gen is for the Dogmatica. It's for the Matrix. You bring this up in line, it's plus 1,000, and you draw two and discard one. Just absurd. This is a Dogmatica package. Voiceless voice, pretty simple. Three low, three Sephira, uh, one old man, and then one Skull Guardian, two Skull Guardian, one Serovis, and one Pendulum Graph Dragon. We did play the Vortre Vortex Dragon as well for this. Also cited this out quite a bit, but again, 60 cards, you can fit a, a whole lot. And like adding spell negates or monster negates on top of your end board with like a towers is really really strong and then um pre prep two it does search other cards as well but uh, mainly for the voiceless voice stuff and then three barrier through uh two prayers and then one of the trap this is the voiceless voice engine it was obviously the thing that held the deck together um it was much better with this even though i won some games without it it's obviously so much better on top of everything but you just plus a million when you play the dogmatica cards uh and then for the non-engine one dogmatica punishment it is part of the dogmatica package insane card it's really really good won me a lot of games one magnemote because <laughs> it's at one and it's a dragon and you can search Sephira with it so it's fine two desires i didn't want to draw this too much it was good uh and then Three Thrust and three Talents. This is for the Ken and Gen stuff. 
Three Chalice, this card was literally MVP, such a good card. I wanted to play, obviously, Board Breakers, and I wanted to play Droplet, but I figured you don't really have things to send that give you value, or that you want in the graveyard. Like, you want everything in hand or field, it's not like branded. So I just put this in, into the main, really good. Chain on like an Apo, chain on like an SP, an IP, set, activate as an Imperm, insane card. And then uh, the card I didn't draw the entire day, which would have won me so many games so easily, was Ultimate Slayer. Insane card in this deck, but didn't draw it. And then for the one-ups, Rhoda for searching the Ken. It's a level three warrior, so you want to get to it at all costs, it's so good. Change of heart, again for the Ken, but as a board breaker. And then Cold by the Grave. This is the main deck, 60 cards, poggers. Let's go to the extra deck really quickly. Uh, aggregator, sent to the graveyard, negates a card, won me the game against Centurion, Typhon, because sometimes you need it, never brought it up. Almirage and uh, Gardna, you need this to unlock your Ecclesia to make sure you can special summon it if you normal Quem. Dynamondo, actually really important because you need to clear your board in order to summon, because you like clog your board really easily. And then Bacephalus to send the, the Gruen for a punishment target. Two Herald, one Malong, one Lulu, two Ents, one of the Vortex. You summon this of the Pendulum Graph, it's another Omni Negate, Titanic Lad, and Garura. Um, really good extra deck. I used everything here except for freaking Typhon. Uh, and then for the side, three Cosmic, one Duster. Uh, drew this in 60 against Dynamorphia. Uh, three. And three going first cards. I needed some help going first if I get stopped with hand traps and stuff. So, uh, yeah, we got one QCR today. One evenly, which I drew in 60 cards against Goaty. <laughs> one goes in. And then three Phantasme. It's a dragon. It's searchable. It's level seven. It's very synergistic in the deck. Uh, overall, 5 0. You will see every single match in the episode of Local Chronicles, the next one. Uh, and thank you so much for following. Uh, shout out to my sponsors. Check them out in the description below. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.